Hey you guys, King Sayu here, and this video marks the 100th video posted on my channel. Before I continue, I just want to say thank you guys for watching, liking, and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. You guys have given me the courage to take this seriously, and I know my videos aren't as good quality as I want them to be, but I'm going to try to work on that as best as I can going forward. Now, for my 100th video, I was thinking about what I wanted, wanted to do for it and figured out why not talk about one of the best games I've played and one of the favorite game and one of my favorite games of all time. And as you can already tell, that game is Persona 5 Royale. And as you can see, I have spent <laughs> 884 hours and 12 minutes playing this game and that's not even counting the first the first persona 5 release the first regular version so yeah i think before i stopped playing that one and moved on to this one i had like 400 hours invested so yeah i have no life <laughs> but that's just how but to be honest this is just how good this game is to me now to be honest with you this is the first persona this is the first official Persona game that I played. The first Persona game I played was Persona 3 Arena for the PlayStation 3. And while I was playing it, I was kind of sad that I wasn't able to play the original Persona 3. But I played it enough to get a concept of what Persona was about. When I first when I first played when I first played Persona 5 version, it was it was a slow start, I'm not gonna lie. But after the first case, I was completely hooked and immersed into the game. So let's talk about Persona, but let me talk about Persona 5 story. Persona 5 story is about a group of teenagers that rebel against evil selfish adults that go into another reality go called the metaverse where the adults desires come to life as palaces and they steal their treasure to change their hearts and confess their crimes in the real life. The gameplay is, the gameplay is awesome as well, really it is. Each palette, um, I'm sorry, um, the gameplay is really good. You play as a high school student in the real and in the real world and do regular things like test, you know, live out the, you know, regular teenage stuff like get a part time job, hang out with hang out with your confidants and stuff like that. And it's actually really, really and it's actually really interesting the way that you it actually is. It gets you really immersed into the game and it makes you feel like a real teenager in the real world. Now, as a Phantom Thief in the metaverse, going through palace, you go through palaces, battle shadows, and solve puzzles. Each palace is actually really different. Each palace is actually different, and the puzzles are challenging too. The battle system is turn-based, which most of the time I'm not really interested in. Like, it, it, I really, I'm not a fan of turn-based games, but. Unlike most turn-based RPGs, there are plenty of actions to fight. You can sneak up on you can sneak up on enemies like I just did, and uh, you can sneak up against shadows and get the first strike. And then you can actually attack like shadows' weaknesses as well, like right here. So I have a shadow in front of me. His name is Shiki Oiji, and I already have him in my and I already have him in my Persona stock, which is where that mask is, what that mask represents next to its name. I can actually check his weaknesses, like analysis, view my enemy info, and yeah, so you can see like he's no, he's no, he, um, <clears throat> some shadows or some shadows have a different type of, uh, have different weaknesses and can nullify, drain, or you know, just be, or can be resistant to certain, to certain elements of attacks. <clears throat> Like right here, like right here, you can uh, like right here. He he is no he is nullified by physical attacks, bullet uh, gunfire, and he can nullify bless and curse attacks. His only weakness is nuclear, and we can straight strike that, which I can't. Let's see here. Like here are the different personas that I have. Arsene being the regular one. Now I know. Now I know in the persona community there are different ways to uh, build your personas. This one I like kind of put. I like to have personas that have different that have different elemental attacks, so that you know if I run into if I run into a shadow that's like 
that that is differently immune to any type or all type of uh, elemental attacks, I at least know that I got one. At least I know that I got one on my hand. And this one does. Let me see. Let's see. Oh, here's one. Keep it easy for him. Yeah. So now you can still, and then once you knock down shadows, you can either, you can go out for an all out attack. You can even let them lend, you can actually absorb shadows too, which is one of Joker's uh, main, main trump cards. Like he can, he, every persona user is supposed to only have one persona, but Joker is like the wild card. So he can absorb multiple personas at once. So he can either take, he can either take a persona or shadow in this case, he can take a shadow and make it his own persona. He can he can ask them for money or he can ask them for item. Since I already have this shadow in my in my stack, I'll just go ahead and go for all out attack. Might not kill him though. Now the boss battles are amazing. Each boss battle has special attacks to watch out for and exploitable weaknesses that kind of reflect the crimes of their true nature. If you guys watched uh, my Komashita, my Komashita and uh, Shadow Wakaba video on uh, on my uh, on my channel, you can actually see that it's actually really they're actually really really good boss fights. Well. The King Komashita one is actually really good, but the Wakaba Ishigi one is actually okay. But you know, I'll I'll post a little bit more about them just uh, just for you to know. Now um, now I do like this game a lot. The only thing that I don't like about it is the time management. Is the time management sometimes? Now I know I make my own choices. Now I know I make my own choices of uh, what, how, I, how to spend my time. On, uh, but sometimes it doesn't feel like the game doesn't give you enough time to do anything else. Like build special stats and hanging with your confidence and hanging with your confidence doesn't always deepen them when you could have done something else. But overall, but overall. But overall, I feel that Persona 5 Royale is amazing. If you haven't picked it up, I highly recommend. I highly recommend it. I promise you, you would definitely love this game. Like, you would definitely love this game. I'm just telling you. Like, I know I might be a little rambling about it. I might be riding it a little bit too hard with Persona 5, but I haven't played the game, or basically in this in this case, a turn-based RPG a turn-based RPG that I've been so engrossed in like I've never played a game this deep before it's amazing to me but um overall but thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for supporting my channel it really means a lot I got way more content coming up and I hope you guys continue to tune in also I am also featured in a couple of other of my friends channels if I I know that I've already uh, talked about them in previous videos those are being uh, the hollow fang society ran by my friend Alex and King and the third ran by my friend Ant. and uh, I hope you guys really do tune in to our videos we will be playing shinobi strikers together and also there are other and also there are other games that we're gonna be that we're gonna be streaming as well so thank you guys again thank you guys again so much for for really giving us for really giving us support supporting us liking sharing subscribing thank you guys and I hope you guys continue to do that like we really want to make this a thing so we appreciate it everything that you guys have done for us this is King Sayu <clears throat> and I'm out blessings to you guys and and like I said I can't thank you guys enough